at that. We've only got front wheel drive. The uh, the rear diff must have blown out or something slipped. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, so the first thing that I did is I looked at the drive shaft, and this is actually, this screw is a pin that runs all the way through it, so that was not going to be loose and slipping. Uh, then I looked at the other side. I pulled out the entire diff, checked out the entire diff. It all looked good. It was plastic, but it was still functioning properly. And uh, the last thing that I saw was this little gear right here that goes from the drive shaft, or actually from, not even the drive shaft, from the spur gear into the diff. And uh, it was screwed in there, and I tightened the screw down, but it still was slipping. And when I flipped it over, I didn't notice what was wrong right away, but when I looked at the other end of this metal uh, drive shaft coming through or off of the spur gear, I noticed that it was flattened on two sides and this is completely rounded out on the inside. And so all that power going into this one plastic gear to your drive shaft causes it to just slip. So it's just not a great design for running this, you know, 540 motor that's in here into this plastic gear off of uh, basically the, the drive shaft to the rear uh, because even right now I'm spinning it and it's just freely spinning on the uh, the pin there and every once in a while it engages that spur gear but not very often so a little bit of an issue there on the uh, the design and this is not a car that I would actually recommend it's too much work to actually fix all of this. I also looked into the shocks and the shocks are not oil filled. For 70 bucks I would say go with a much more proven uh, chassis, the 1243 or the 1248, the buggy or this uh, trophy truck, short course truck. And not only does it have working lights but uh, you know oil filled shocks and uh, there's so many parts for this thing out there guys that for the, the same amount of money that's the car I would go with in the 12th scale from WL Toys. So I can't in good conscience recommend this to people. I'm going to tear it down. I'm going to scab parts off it. The servo motor, um, the ESC receiver that goes with this transmitter because it's a match for this truck. Uh, but there's just too many problems for this to overcome. And I'd steer clear of it unless there's a version 2 that comes out and they've updated uh, this, this uh, drive shaft assembly differential issues that are going on in here so anyway guys thanks for tuning in tony here wish i had better news but have fun our scene guys and we'll catch you next time